How do you overcome problems with refinish? We're going to find out next. The refinishing process is complex, and if that is not enough, it often relies on previously performed work and repairs to be successful. When all goes right, not too much thought is given to refinishing. However, when it goes wrong, there is much speculation as to why. Some common refinish issues are finish color and texture matching, finish contamination and defects, boot time and bottlenecks. Achieving color match is challenging, especially with three and four stage colors becoming more common. To help ensure proper color match, like most things, it is best to make sure the basics are covered. Often overlooked are the toners themselves. It's important to make sure the toners are stirred sufficiently before mixing a color. If you follow a formula perfectly, but the toners were not stirred and metallics or pearls were settled at the bottom, a proper color match is not going to happen. Worse yet, once toners are used without proper mixing, the rest of the can will be off and, to some degree, this will affect all other colors mixed using those toners. Even with the perfect mix and properly stirred toners, the challenge of color match is not over. Things like gun settings, painter technique, temperature and humidity can all alter the look of the color of the vehicle. Performing a spray out using the same gun settings, distance and speed that will be used when painting the vehicle will help ensure that the result on the spray out will match the result on the vehicle. Another basic item that's often overlooked is the surface being refinished. The color of the undercoat can affect the color match. For example, light colors over dark undercoats may require more coats to reach full coverage. Even when you're certain you have applied enough coats, the dark undercoat may affect the final color. Tinted or value-adjusted undercoats are two ways to minimize this risk. Using the correct reducers and hardeners is important. Follow the paint supplier's data sheets regarding what products should be used and what temperatures. Base coat that stays wet too long or is dry sprayed will affect the color. Clears that harden too fast won't flow as much and may result in too much texture. Painters love to try to lay clear coat down like glass, often pushing that line between flat and running the paint. This is especially tempting on black. The reality is most OEM finishes are far from flat. Virtually all of them have a certain amount of texture to them. The knowledge of how clean the finish typically is coming out of the booth, the experience of knowing that at times you'll need to make the texture a little rougher, thereby removing some of that texture, and the technique to make it happen is essential. Achieving a texture match comes down to this knowledge, experience, and technique. In our next video, we're going to talk about finished contamination and defects. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.